what to ask your barber or stylist to get the haircut that you're looking for. Now, the reason I'm doing this video, and I've done videos like this in the past, on the 11 years I've been on YouTube, I've done videos like this, but the reason I'm doing this video, one, is because like 85% of people who are subscribed to my channel, like don't watch my videos. So I'm getting a huge audience of people coming to me for the first time, finding me because, oh, we're in quarantine, all of a sudden now I find the salon guy after 11 years. Whatever it is, I, I realize that I have to keep making content and regurgitating content that I've done over and over again because people just find me randomly and they don't know I have over 1,500 videos on YouTube, which I do. So the reason, the main reason also is because I keep getting so many random DMs or messages or people spamming me or just happen to follow me because they want to spam me a question, uh, you know, and I said, you know what, I need to make a video again to really help you guys out, whether you're male or female, on what to actually say or how to ask for the style or haircut that you want. And it's probably not what you think. And I'm hoping that this is really gonna help answer a lot of questions for you guys. So I'm gonna break down the first most important thing is that a lot of times there are not names of haircuts that you all keep asking about. Like if you watch a video or tutorial, whatever it is, and you keep asking me, you know, what's the name of the haircut? What do I, how do I, what do I say to my barber to get this? There is no name sometimes for a haircut, unless it's like an undercut or a buzz cut or a low fade or whatever it is. Sometimes there aren't names of a haircut, so you can't ask them anything. What you need to do is focus more on showing them photos. I've said this eight million times in the past. Find a, you know, take your phone. I think probably 90% of human beings have a cell phone from the ages of like four up. I mean, I'm just kidding. But like a lot of people have cell phones, okay? Go on your cell phone, take a screenshot or save an image that you search on Google for of what you're looking for, show it to your stylist. Show it to your barber. Next, the most important thing, do not worry about hair lengths because that professional should be able to look at a photo and know exactly what to do. The amount of people who ask me how long so I can tell my barber or what is this haircut so I can tell my barber. You shouldn't have to tell your barber what the haircut is or how long it is. They're the professionals. Trust me, if they can't look at a picture and cut the hair how it needs to be, then they shouldn't be doing what they're doing. Find somebody else. Stop paying, you know. Now, I know it depends on what country you live in because I've heard of people, you know, that are paying like <laughs> equivalent to like one US dollar for a haircut. Um, and, and that's your only option, that's fine. But you really should be able to show somebody a picture of what you're looking for and take multiple pictures and say, this is what I'm trying to achieve. Let them do what they're supposed to do. Don't worry, don't stress yourself out uh, about how long it is. That's, that's it, okay? So another helpful tip, let's take a couple of mannequin heads. I have a whole bunch of mannequin heads here to uh, show you guys. Now this is my most recent haircut that I did of the Chris Hemsworth from Extraction, the Extraction movie. Uh, say for example, you want that piece in the front, or you want this type of look on the sides, right? What you need to do is don't worry about the number guard here, okay? What you need to worry about is the front by saying, if you are gonna say anything, pull down your hair or say, I want the front to be this long. So you can take your, if your hair's that long, take your hair, pull it down to your nose and say, I wanna keep this part this long. Please do not cut this any shorter. If you want to skim the ends, that's fine, but do not cut this really, really short. You know, I want to have this going shorter into longer. You can really just explain the type of look that you want, meaning I want, you know, bangs and I want them to come to my eyebrow, or I want my hair to be down to my nose, or I want my hair to cover my ears. That's the terminology and that's the verbiage you need to use when explaining this 
to your professional or your stylist. If you're doing your hair yourself, it's all by visual, okay? And that's why I always, as a professional, I suggest going to a salon, going to a barber. But if you're gonna, you know, if you're going to attempt to do like a fade on your hair from like a number zero or number one, good luck, all right? <laughs> but a lot of the times it really comes down to purely visuals. If your hair is like a buzz cut and you want your hair to be this long, well, hair goes three quarters or half an inch to three quarters of an inch a month, do the math. It may take six or seven months to get the hair to where you need it to be. Also, just keep growing it until it looks like what you want. I mean, there's no really, it's not rocket science, you know? Um, and why your stylists or barbers aren't telling you this, who knows? But hopefully that's gonna be helpful to you guys. If you want your hair to have like a sweeping kind of look or something like this, you simply say, I want my hair to come down to here, but I also want it to sweep over. So I need some sort of layering so that it, it has a nice flow to it. It's all about the verbiage you use. Now, if some barber or hairstylist doesn't understand what a flow is or what layers are, run. Get out of the chair and run, okay? There's no reason why anyone should not even know what that means. And, and uh, there are, there are people out there who have no idea, but it really comes down to use, use visualizing and, and saying, I want my hair to be this long. Now, if your hair, this is, I'm gonna switch over to uh, ladies hair, right? women's hair right now. You've got really, really long hair, right? This is a gorgeous long layered haircut. If you're looking to keep the length and you want a haircut like this, look up long layered haircuts or you know, long hair with layers on Google and maybe show some photos or a couple celebrities of, of hairstyles that you like. Now, the one thing about photos is that you may show something to your stylist, but you may not have the proper hair type or the right, you know, thickness or density or your hair might not be long enough, whatever it is, you know, you need to explain what you want to that professional. They, as professionals, need to then tell you if that can be achieved or not. And I think that's a huge issue and there's a big disconnect because I hate to say it, there are a lot of stylists who don't even know what the hell they're doing, to be honest with you, I've seen it before. So what you need to really say to them is, you know, I want my hair to be, I love the length. Just keep it simple. I love the length of my hair throughout the back here, throughout the sides, but I feel like the front is way too long. It's got no shape to it. And I wanna have some sort of flow where we have, you know, maybe layers starting around right here to my chin and working down into the length. So I want everything blended going from kind of like a longer angle from here down into the back. And I wanna keep the layers uh, flowing going from shorter to longer. I mean, instead of saying, oh, it's you know, 18 inches in the back and three inches in the front. I mean, that's really just complicates it because that may not be the case for every single client, right? Here's another, another uh, hairstyle right here. You know, oh, I'm looking for a lob, you know, a longer bob or a one length bob, you know, show some photos. I want to have like a little movement to it, but I really want something simple. I want something that uh, I can tuck behind my ears. You know, it's the kind of verbiage that you explain to us that helps us understand what it is you're looking for. Now, again, back to guys again. If this is an example of a haircut that you want, say it's like more of an 80s style or a feathered haircut. What you say is, I want my hair to look feathered. I want my hair, I want to be able to see the layers and I want them to be this long. Literally, pick up your hair and show them how long you want it to be. If you have a photo of something you like and you're not sure if your hair isn't long enough for it, that's up to you to decide on your own or that stylist or barber to say, your hair isn't long enough, but I can cut it to grow out like that, right? If you want, you know, you say to them, I want these feathered layers. I want to have a haircut that, you know, really when I brush my fingers through it, it just stays in place and has a nice flow. Explain to them more about the end result of what you're looking for than being so hung up on the name of a haircut or the lengths. That's pretty much it. I mean, you know, and, I, and during quarantine and things like that, uh, I know it's difficult. And if you are attempting to cut your hair yourself, Watch my videos, I've got over 1,500 videos. Search what you're looking for 
and then simply add the salon guy, all one word, into the search query, whether it's you know, longer hair men, the salon guy, uh, short hair men, the salon guy, surfer haircut, the salon guy, perfect layers, the salon guy, how to cut your own layers, the salon guy. You will find everything you're looking for, I guarantee you. I guess that's pretty much it, guys. You know, I really hope that this video sinks in and really helps you all because it's, as much as I love sharing information, it's also frustrating to keep getting the same things over and over again because I explain it as best as I possibly can in a lot of my videos. And, and I understand if people are finding me for the first time, that's awesome, thank you, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and watch all my other content, but I really wanna share this to new people and new viewers who may not have seen those videos. And I know this is a big topic and everybody seems to wanna know because I get like dozens and dozens of DMs a day asking the same things. What do I say to my barber? How long is this? Don't worry about that. It's not up to you to be the barber or the hairstylist. It's up to them. They're the experts. Just have a good time, enjoy your experience, and communicate what you want your hair to look like, the length you want it to be, use visuals, pull your hair down like this, show them. Some people need that. Some professionals, whether it doesn't matter, just people in general are more visual learners. They, they make a connection board by seeing something rather than using a number to associate with the look. So I can understand that, you know, we're all different. Let me know in the comments below if you found this video helpful. I really hope you did. Stay safe and healthy. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time for more videos with the Salon Guy.